unstoppable force right now in a game that was really never in question. The Niners rolled the Panthers 51 to 13. San Francisco had three interceptions and seven sacks, while the offense had 232 yards on the ground and averaged over six yards a carry. So, Shannon, could the Niners go 16 and 0 this season? Look, they put man on the moon, so anything is possible, Jenny. But no, they're not going 16-0. to mm. um, But looking at their schedule, they still have a couple of games against, I think, the 49ers. They get two games against the Cardinals. They're at New Orleans, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at Baltimore. Yep. So, uh, you know, I don't think... weeks th at Baltimore and at New Orleans. Yeah, Skip, I don't, and, um, I don't think they'll go 16-0. But... How about 15-1? Skip, I was, going to, I was about to say, but 14-2 is not out of the realm of possibility either, though. Skip, they're, they're legit. Their front seven is legit. They can get after the quarterback, and we talked about touched on this a little earlier. Nick Bosa is the real deal. Skip, he, you know, I know it's early, and his brother is no, a hell of a— No, it's not too early to say <laughs> he's the real deal. Skip, so is his brother. Yeah, his brother. But, boy, I mean, he can do it all. He can rush the passer. I mean, he, I mean, you see the athleticism? They try, uh, Allen tried to throw a pass. He jumped up and caught it. He took off running. Allen tried to catch him. He stopped, put on the brakes, shifted, went back the other direction— He's for real. Their defense is for real. The only thing that concerns me, Skip, in six of the seven games in which Garoppolo started, and he started all of them, he's mm. turned the ball over. Mm. You're not going to always win games 51-13, 51-10. Mm. I think they scored 41 the previous week. Some of these games are going to be nip and tuck. You turn the ball over in a nip and tuck ball game, Skip, you get your butt beat. Can, are they going 16-0? and No, I don't believe they'll go 16-0. and But I would, would I be surprised if they went 14-2? and Absolutely not. I hate to say this, but we thought December the 8th was going to be the game of the year at Foxborough, yeah. Kansas City at New England. Yeah. Guess what, boys and girls? It, it <laughs> could be at New Orleans. It could be San Francisco at New Orleans. Will yeah. that not be yes. for yeah. a lot of that NFC might be for, That might be for sure. home field advantage throughout the playoffs wow. in the NFC. And I'm not going to be surprised if San Francisco doesn't go to New Orleans unbeaten. Yes. I'm not going to be surprised because they're better than Seattle and they got two left with them. Right. Can they beat Green Bay at home? I think they can. Can they win at Baltimore? It, it wouldn't yeah. shock me if they won at Baltimore mm -hmm. the way they do it. Yes. Because they run it and they play defense. Ooh, and they and, really play defense. And they take it away. Mm -hmm. So they're second in rushing in the NFL, which Kyle Shanahan is good at. He's got a flow going. Yeah. Breida and Tevin Coleman. And it's like, Breida got boom, hurt. Boom. Coleman stepped yeah. right in and didn't miss Ooh, a beat. Well, here they go. And then. The defense just gets better and better. And so I, I had the two games on yesterday. I had Cleveland at New England on one TV on the bottom. And on another TV on the top, I kept trying to watch San Francisco and Carolina. Right. And every time I looked up, the, the 49ers were like little kids jumping up and down because they'd taken it away again. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and, and I saw a sequence featuring Richard Sherman in which, if we could see this, he had one interception in his hands, and it was going to be a little bit of a difficult catch. And he couldn't hang on. Oh my God! I God! I, I had it. And and right away he gets that one. Yep. Look at that throw. It's like he it, he was the intended receiver. He's just standing there and playing zone, right? And it just hits him right wow. in the hands. Yeah. I mean, how bad is that, or how yeah. great? It's like the magic carpet has taken off. And that's what happens, yeah. Skip, with turnovers. Once you start getting a few, it's, it's like New England. Contagious. It seems like every game, I know. No, somehow I the it. ball finds their right. hands, and those guys don't miss. And if New England were not on a historical defensive pace, thanks in large part to the lack of competition so far, right. that this it's defense would be historic, right? right? This it would is. be leading in every category. And yet, what is the X factor, as you point out? The quarterback. Yep. The quarterback has nine touchdowns to seven interceptions. Jimmy Garoppolo, I don't know. He's lost a couple of fumbles, so he's tied for eighth in the NFL in giveaways. Jimmy G is. Yep. And what did he do yesterday? He threw a bad pick. Right. And he got sacked in the end zone for a safety, safety. which was not the prettiest sight. And that's the thing, Skip, you would think, why is a guy, a team that can run the football like this, mm -hmm. why is he turning it over so much? Because a lot of times the guys are wide open because when you put that ball in their belly and they roll over and you come up out of it, Skip, mm -hmm. guys are stepping up because they got to stop know. this run. Yep. And and that that's the thing that concerns me about this football team is his ability, his well, his inability to protect the football, mm -hmm. be it interception or fumble. And that's not a good thing because mm -hmm. that'll get you beat. And that'll be so disheartening. A team that's this talented and they play, the way they play defensively to have your quarterback wait, make one fatal mistake because mm -hmm. this is not like baseball. You're going back, Skip. You know, huh. the road team won two games. The road team won three games. Now you're going back. One game, you're going home. Going home.
which brings me to my potential postseason scenario. Let's just do the hypothetical. Let's say they win all 16. Right. And they get two weeks off for a home playoff game. Right. Okay. And let's say somebody, just pick a team, Green Bay. Right. I don't know. Green Bay, Dallas, whoever right. it is, goes in there, and because Jimmy G throws three picks, they lose. Is it possible that they would cut bait with Jimmy G and want to take Tom Brady, let him to come oh, home? Yo, yes, they yeah. yes, they would. Yes, they would. I can imagine. Oh. There was a report, and I can't remember who had it yesterday, that it's possible Tom would consider the Chargers, Chargers. because of the L.A. and they're moving into the new right. stadium. Was it NFL.com? I can't remember. Right. I did read that yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. But I brought that up on the show last week to you. I right. said, don't write right. off the Chargers here mm -hmm. because they loved living in L.A. They had a house in right. Brentwood. Right. God bless Brentwood right now because it's under siege right. from fire. I right. hope all those people are okay. But the point is that he lived in Brentwood for a while and he off seasons in Brentwood and Alex Guerrero also. is from LA and right. Tom House is sort of throwing coach lives in LA. Yeah, but I know the, the, the Chargers would be a sexy pick mm -hmm. because of LA and you know they got some good yep. receivers but I believe the 49ers would be a better situation. It would be well how because that not be perfect because they can run it yep. it'll take some pressure off of him and he doesn't yep. Tom Brady's still a great play action quarterback yep. and they got some receivers and they still got the means to go out and get another big time receiver. They, they do, and the tight end is a stud. Oh, George Kittle's He's for real. Stud. George yeah. Kittle's for real. Okay. For him. Geez, okay. 7 0, first time since 1990. That's Woo. three years old. That's Woo. impressive. Wow. Uh, guys, another team we need to pay attention we to. Do. Deshaun Watson, is he proving that he can carry the Texans to the Super Bowl? That's next. Dak Prescott and the Cowboys are still working on finalizing a new deal in the quarterback's final year under contract. The Cowboys have said several times that both sides are close, but still no agreement has been reached. Over the weekend, Stephen Jones put the ball in Dak's corner. Jones said, quote, the only thing we need him to do is work with us a little bit. It's not saving Jerry and I any money. What we're trying to do is keep this young football team together. We think it's a really good one. Other than that, this negotiation would have been over with months ago. But I think he understands where we're coming from. We understand where he's coming from. Ultimately, we'll figure this out. Shannon, do you agree that Dak should work with the Cowboys a little bit? on this deal. Hell no. Absolutely not. Skip Bayless has made it crystal clear to me. Skip Bayless said contracts is not about what you've done. Contracts are about what the team think you will be. Ooh. Skip Bayless has told me, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones have said, Dak Prescott will win multiple Super Bowl MVPs. A multiple oh, Super Bowl. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yes, you did. Yes, you, you said did. MVPs. No, no, I, I'm Super Bowl. I said Super multiple Bowls, Super Bowls. Plural. Has plural. Come up. That's what you said. Not he will win multiple. Okay. You said you win multiple mm -hmm. Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. that, that needs to be adequately compensated. Okay. I told you from day one, from what I was hearing, that the reason this contract has not gotten signed is that Dak and his agent, Todd Franz, was unwilling to give Jerry and Stephen Jones the discount that they wanted. That's what I heard. Mm. Oh, no, this thing gonna get done. That, I'm so, okay, I'm just telling you what I heard. I mean, if it's a lie, I hate, you know what? <clears throat> I used to get in trouble so much, mm. Jenny, mm. for talking behind people. Really? My grandma say talking behind people is repeating what you heard someone say. Yeah. So I used to get in trouble because I hear it. I say it. My grandma, boy, I was slept it. But that was, so I was just repeating what I heard. All right. That the reason this deal has not gotten done is that Dak and his representative mm. are unwilling to give them the discount that they want. You see, Skip, Dak understands. See, Dak's looking at it like, hold on, wait a minute. I'm a first, a fourth-round draft pick. You could have given me, because Lyle Collins was an undrafted free agent, they gave him $1 million to sign, something that's unheard of, because they believed that he was better than what the, what the undrafted free agent status that bear his name. Okay. Dak Prescott said, y'all thought I was a fourth-round pick, and y'all paid me as such. Mm. I do believe after this first contract, Dak would probably be more inclined mm. to give them a discount, Skip. But my first bite at the apple, I'm trying to buy as big a chunk of the apple as I possibly can. I'm talking about this old nice honey crisp. You know I love old honey crisp. Yeah, more that's your fave. Man, they about five, they about three dollars a pound. Mm. I give me about four of them, slice them things up, wash mm. it all real good. Ooh, mm. I love like a good one. Tell me when it's my. It's not your turn. Getting bored. <laughs> yeah, but your no guy, more apple talk. your your guy. If you think that Dak Prescott is going to give you the discount that mm -hmm. you want, you're sadly mistaken. Mm. And that's been the hold up all along. And then again, Steven and Jerry keep trying to sow that seed. Mm. Hey guys, fans, 
Dak is selfish. Mm -hmm. If you don't give us a discount, he really selfish. He doesn't care about winning. He don't want to win Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. He want to fatten his bank account. Yeah, I sure do. I believe two things, because they're not mutually exclusive. Just because I give you a discount doesn't mean we're not gonna doesn't mean we're gonna win.